This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kodash, the honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and, sal and salutations to the elect, which begins with 144,000, and also unto you women and children. Keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Okay? Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning he is the deliverer. Racha Kodash is spirit holy, pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. And this is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Apaleo Hebrew, also known as ancient Hebrew, a.k.a. the Holy Tongue. Baha Shem means in the name. And I'm your brother Bashar. Coming at y'all with a quick lesson dealing with, you know, uh, these trials and tribulations that we go through during this walk, you know, during our lives. Um, and you have to just uh, understand that, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, you know, although it may not seem like it, but um, you have to understand that nothing grows in an uncomfortable place. You know, you have, um, you know, just observe nature and you know you, you you have this thing called uh growing pains you know you know you 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 you, 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 you there's things called growing pains where you know when you're when your growth is taking place you start to you know uh, feel pains and it's just like how, how the name states itself it's growing pains you know but um not to go on a, a a, a, a ramble but um what the lord is doing is he's just like he's gradually uh prepping uh the two-thirds through uh esau edom which is the so-called white man he's he's gradually prepping you to um to uh, understand that you can trust in him you know, yeah, you're going to fall down. That's that's a given. I believe when you go into the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, Slaki, the 20th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, or the 21st chapter. Let me just get it real quick. Yeah, it's the 20th chapter, the 20th verse. And um, Yahweh Shai speaks about, you know, us going through things. He, he actually warns us. Um, through this account in the book of Matthew, the 20th chapter, the 20th verse, which I'll read. Then came to Hum, the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping Hum and desiring a certain thing of Hum. Verse 21. And he said unto her, what wilt thou? She, she said unto Hum, grant that these my two sons may sit the one on the right hand and the other on the left in the kingdom, in thy kingdom. But Yahweh answered and said, Be Slakia. And Yahweh answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of? Okay, it's talking about the 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 the, the, the ultimate cup was is the uh, you know persecution that Yahweh Shai had to go through, but all you know, but um, it's, it's it's talking about you know everything that Yahweh Shai had to go through, you know Yahweh Shai, you know he caught hell when he was on the scene roughly two thousand years ago, you know, 
they try to uh, 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 it was constantly tempting them, constantly, um, you know, slandering him, constantly laughing at him, you know, so on and so forth. You know, you name it. Yahweh Shai, you know, he went through it. Let's continue. Verse 22, but Yahweh Shai answered and said, and said, ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, we are able, you know, so let's, let's continue. Verse 23, this is the point. Uh, following with verse 24. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father, Yahweh. Right? Verse 24, and when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. You know, but Yahweh Shai called them unto, called them unto him and said, ye know that the, okay, so yeah, so that was the point, you know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to go through um you know going through 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 these ups and downs is inevitable, you know. But um so the Lord is is uh prepping us to rely on him. You know, he had, you know a lot of times sometimes when we go through things it's to see if we're going to lean on him. You know, he wants he wants to actually see that that we reach out to him and call upon his name and put our faith in him. You know, and you know, don't. Don't make haste in those times and in, 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 in a time where you may feel trouble. Because we have to understand that the Lord doesn't operate on our time. He operates on his time. And there's nothing that we can do. Like if the Lord puts us through something, there's nothing that we can do to, to get ourselves out of it. So the best thing to do is just to be patient and just wait upon the Lord, put our trust in, in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and bear and, and and just and just bear it. And just understand that, you know, in the kingdom, these stories are gonna be read. And the you know, and all Israel is gonna see. The integrity, Lord willing, we all endure unto the end that we displayed here on this side. You know? So it's very important that we, you know, continue to endure. And um, just like the scripture says, let's read it again. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient. Now this word patient, when you go into it, it means to suffer. You know. You know, I'm I'm many how many how many how many times were you were you were you were you, were you was just told to be patient? Be 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 patient. Nine times out of ten you're being told to be patient because you're you you're 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 you're, you're, you're losing it. You're, you're suffering in, 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 in the spirit. Let's continue. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, 
Take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Right? So the Lord is gradually just, you know, um, prepping us to be patient and just ultimately put our trust in him. Let's get another scripture. Let's just get this whole strat chapter. Let's fast forward. Verse 5. Slaki. We're going to start at verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, be uh, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Okay. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low state. Right. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking to be increased. During the time of the end, which we're living in right now. Okay. But, you, you know, that's only going to happen if you continue to put your best foot forward. And, and even the times of that you're uncomfortable. All right. You're going to build that uh, just, just like a uh, elder. Apostle Aramla would say, um, I, I once heard him say, you know, you kind of grow a spiritual callus when you're when you're enduring these uh, these hardships. You know. And eventually the Lord is going to quicken us, Lord willing, we be of that number um, with uh, spiritual power. So that's going into being increased at the, at the last end. But we have to endure and continue to put our trust and allow our, our faith to, to, uh, to grow strong. Through these hardships. All right. Because eventually the Lord is going to lift up the burden. He's going to lift up the, 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 the weight. And I don't know if you if if you brothers ever watched uh, Dragon Ball Z, but when when they were in that uh, hyperbolic time chamber, or, or I, don't, I don't even know what they call it, but it was like a training um, realm or um, a, a chamber where they were able to manipulate the uh, the gravity and what you know what 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 what, what the Super Saiyans with the characters in that. And that um and that particular uh cartoon would do, they would go inside that chamber, increase the gravity, or lower the gravity, change it to where it was more difficult. So when they came out, they they were ultimately made stronger. You know, and that's that's a um that's Basically, an example of what the Lord is doing to his elect spiritually. You know, let's continue on. Verse five. Oh, we're going to start at verse three. Cleave unto whom and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. And right, that's all we got to do. Continue to walk in the spirit, trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and he's gonna help us. Hey, one four four. Call all Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, so uh, with that, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. Just wanted to get this off my spirit. You know, it was just on my spirit 
to do a uh an exhortation. So uh, again, Lord willing, your brothers and sisters was edified, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.